Let's look at how to configure EIGRP over IP version 4 with static route redistribution. So what is static route redistribution? Well, first of all, routing protocols share routing information, but they usually do it by talking or telling their directly connected networks to their other nearby neighbor routers. And in this case, we have a border router and it's connected directly to the internet. If I look at this border router, so get into privilege mode first, and then show my IP route right here, I can see that I have a static route configured. Now the static route will get me out to the internet, and that's great. However, when I normally configure my routing protocols, I use the network command in order to indicate which networks I'm directly connected to. But this doesn't tell me the internet, so I have to bring that into it. So if I go over to a different router, type in show IP route, I can see that there is nothing here. No routing protocols are being shared, nothing. And I want to get that all taken care of and moving across. All right, so how do I do this? Well, first of all, I have to figure out where I am connected. And I can see right here which ones I'm, which ones I'm connected to, which makes it easy. I'm connected to the 192.168.0.0. And there's inside of that two different subnets, both slash 25s, the 0 and the 128. And so when I configure these, I do router EIGRP and I pick an AS number. It doesn't matter what number I pick as long as every router shares the same AS number. I like doing things like no auto summary because we don't really like that, especially when you're doing subnets. So I'm going to do network. Now the network has to indicate the network address. So 192.168.0.0. And it needs the mask. And I can either put the mask in as a standard subnet mask or as a wildcard. So let's put it in first as a subnet mask and then see what happens to 55.255.255.128. If I do this, and then I do a do show run, and I get down here, you'll see it actually puts it in as a wildcard. But I want to add the next one in. So let's do a 128 with a 0 .0 .0 0 0.0.0.127 which will get that one added in there correctly. At this point, this one is trying to set up and trying to connect to its neighbors, trying to figure all this stuff out. Um, that's good, but it doesn't get us our route out to the internet. And we'll get to that in just a moment. So let's go ahead and also add in the external internet line as well. So that'd be a 1.0.0.0 with a mask of a bunch of zeros and a three. So that's the wildcard mask. Okay, now I go to my other router over here. This one is connected to a few different routes as well. I can see my internal LAN, and then I can see the other LAN that, well, the other network that's connecting to my border router. Pop T router EIGRP 10. Do a no auto summary as well. And then I do a network 192.168.0.0. And that one you can see is a slash 25 right here. So I'm going to do a 0 .0 .0 0.0.0.127. It forms a adjacency with the border router. And then I can put in the network for my internal LAN, which is 192.168.1.0 with a mask of 0 .0 .0 .0 0.0.0.255. All right. If I exit out of this and I do a show IP route, we can see that I've now learned a route through the EIGRP protocol. Bigger. So this is what I've learned, but it doesn't get me out to the internet and neither this one over here. Neither one's getting me to the internet. 
this one kind of gets me there, but it's not, not really getting me there. So what you do is you go to the first router, the one that's connected here, and you have to add a new line into it. So you want to do, I'm currently in my router configuration, so I do redistribute, redistribute, static. What that will do is it will import the static route into my routing protocol and make it so that I can use that. So I click back on the other router. And as long as I waited long enough, I can see suddenly this gateway of last resort shows up. And you can see that there is a external route that has been added. So you can see in order to get to the internet, I go through this other router, which is my border router, and that gets me the internet. And so now it's redistributed throughout my system. And that's how you do your redistribution of static routes.